Welcome back to Fortnite Crossover. Let's talk about what's happening in the NBA. Marky Mark, what are the topics for today's session? All right, we're going to have an extra long one because there's a lot of good things that is happening in the NBA and some bad things that we want to talk about. Let's start first with the biggest package of this topic right now is Isaiah Thomas' return. I want to know, you know, what do you guys feel? What's going to happen in, in the Cleveland right now and, and his first game too? How was his performance? Actually, I want to hear from you guys since he returned and he played against Portland. How was his performance? What did it tell you about the status of what he's going to be for the Cavs? Uh, just being an IT owner for fantasy, uh, I was very impressed. 17 minutes in nine, uh, sorry, 17 points in 19 minutes, that's very efficient. It's almost a point for games. Yes, yeah, right. and he, was, he wasn't shy at all. Like He wasn't like, you know, pulling any stops. He was going for his routine pull-up jumpers. So I'm, I think that's a deadly weapon for them to have, mm. especially, like, what, January now? Yeah. So. I just think he's going to take the offensive load off LeBron so LeBron can rest more yeah. and, you know, he can take over the offense when he's off. You know. He needs that. Yeah, yeah, LeBron, he he's playing a lot of minutes, 38, yeah. you know, almost 39. He's almost, you know, just behind the Giannis in terms of uh, minutes per game. And for someone in his 33, you know, 33 years old, he yeah. needs that rest and also responsibility, right? So a, a, good, a good point that I saw was that he was very... Um, comfortable working with Wade and Tristan yeah. Thompson, yeah. Mm -hmm. which is good because he just fit seamlessly in the offense kind mm -hmm. of thing. And um, though he didn't play the game on Boston, like you could tell that they really needed him because when LeBron sat out. down, like <laughs> nothing happened. Yeah. No firepower, yeah. nothing, nothing happened. Yeah. So. I mean, like so you guys, like so once he's fully um, acclimated into the, into the starting five, how is this fit? Like, how is he going to fit? And like you know, does Tyrone uh, Tyron need to ha change the lineup? Does he need to you know change the starting lineup? Because if he puts it there on Calderon, is that you know basically a lot of shooters? But in defensive purposes, your big is love. Does he need to make any changes in the rotation? Does he need to do anything right now? I think definitely it's a given that he'll start over Calderon eventually. Yeah. But they, Cleveland likes to play small regardless of mm -hmm. Love is center or not or Thompson center. But I think Tyron Lue, what he needs to matter what. He needs to work on is the finishing lineup, mm -hmm. not starting that much because J.R. Smith usually starts. But who's gonna finish? Wade, It, LeBron, with who else? You know, yeah. that's a that's a question I would ask. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What about uh, the um, what? How are you gonna do the rotation? Like what's happening to guys like you know Jeff Green, uh, Derrick Rose? Like right now, Derrick Rose is gonna <laughs> what, be what buried. happened to yeah, Derrick Rose? Who's that? <laughs> who's that? <laughs> Where is he right now? I don't even see him on the bench. <laughs> he decided to come back and play, so I wanted to give him some love and see. Does he, is, is he going to fit anywhere? Is this going to be like a tight rotation between the first five with Isaiah and then Dwayne Wade, Tristan Thompson, Kyle Korver? So they're a deep team. Yeah. yeah. So do you think, my thing with you guys is that are they a better team than last year with Isaiah Thomas now in? I mean, they're more deeper at the point guard position for sure. Because even if Calderon, uh, you know, gets injured, you still have Derrick Rose as insurance, right? Yeah. But even though Derrick Rose is kind of rusty and he hasn't played that much this season. Mm -hmm. So I would say, like in terms of if they're better this year, I think they are. Just they got more weapons. Like Jeff Green alone is just. There's nights where he'll drop 20 points. Kyle Korver is really consistent, three-point specialist. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they're lacking from last year is maybe because it and Kyrie. There's, there's that size difference, so that defensive, you know, liability that's always going to be there. But mm -hmm. I think they're much more dangerous this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the? Um, uh, I'm worried about because the thing is, what happened last year was LeBron was doing everything. And I think it was a point where he can only do so much, and and the, there's just so much firepower from teams like Golden State. Yeah. Is this gonna make a difference for him now that he has guys like Jay Crowder and Jeff Green, like mm -hmm. I mentioned before, that can take the defensive load off of him? Do you think this is enough for him to kind of go through later on in the phase, like maybe in the playoffs, when he doesn't have to guard guys like Giannis or guys like Kevin Durant, like we mentioned before, or DeRozan? I think maybe just in the regular season, he's gonna want that load off, having Crowder guard the best guy but he's a competitor I think he's going to want to guard Curry he's going to want to guard at the end of the uh, the possessions right? yeah he's yeah. going to want to guard the, the best player in the op opposing team yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I agree mm. what about um, the fact that uh, you know does this make Cavs a legitimate uh, like really a legitimate because we people are still thinking that they're going to get at least five games maybe on, on the Warriors IT's return now that he's played you've seen kind of what it looks like yeah. you have an idea how many games do you think they can, if, if they do make it to the finals? Like, what's your... Yeah. I honestly think they can make it to game seven. 
he and maybe even and, yeah, and maybe even steal it depending on if you know the Warriors get an injury. So let's say even if like Draymond Green gets <laughs> on injured. an injury, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it all depends on the injury. It depends on an injury, but or it's still suspension. possible. It's yeah. still <laughs> possible. Like, like, the, that. Yeah, yeah. like the 2016 finals where Draymond you know got suspended for one game and yeah. then they just lost all momentum and mm-hmm. Cavs with you know Kyrie's shot and LeBron's block. Yeah. Okay, Crazy. well just we'll say no injuries or suspensions yeah. aside. <laughs> I, I still don't think, like, Golden State is just too much, man. Like, yeah. uh, like seven games is a reach. Even six might be a reach. A reach. Uh, five that. or six is, like, their, you know, yeah. their ceiling. Yeah. Maybe, the, you know, Cavs always do something to trade deadline. Maybe yeah. that one more piece. Might help. Yeah. But right now, if you're asking me right now, I would say five or six. Not even, yeah. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Sweep! The sweep. Yeah. Sweep. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of injuries, like, let's talk about Ooh. one of the biggest ones that Ooh. we just you know, heard recently, which was James Harden's strain hamstring. Right now he has, I think, a grade 2, grade uh, two. sprain, yes. oh, which, is, grade two? Yeah, yeah. which is a 2 to 4 weeks you know, um, timetable. What does this do for the Houston right now? Like, you know, what's going to happen to them right now for the next 2 to three, uh, two to 4 weeks without Harden? Well, Chris Paul's going to have to carry the offensive load more than yeah. ever. And then mm-hmm. you have guys like Bobby Brown and Gerald Green stepping up. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I heard it might even be 4 to 6 weeks. That's, that's what I... Yeah. That's what I... This is you have him on fantasy, yeah, so we know. Yeah, I, I do too, <laughs> man. Have him on fantasy, hurts, so they know. It He's my first, you know, first pick, uh, <laughs> first round pick. But, like, Ryan, just to peg off what Ryan said, like, this is what they brought in Chris Paul for. Like, mm-hmm. they need that second option. Now he's the first right now. Mm-hmm. So you obviously can't replace a guy like Harden. This guy's putting up MVP numbers. Mm-hmm. If, I don't know who your MVP this, this year is, but he's definitely, like, a leader Absolutely. in that department. But, yeah, guys like Gerald Green, maybe even uh, Trevor Ariza needs to kind of score more. So mm-hmm. I, I think they're still good. They're going to be in the second Definitely. right behind Golden State all yeah. year long. So, yeah. But speaking of MVP, Lynn, if, if Harden is your first what, uh, your first in terms of like MVP ladder right now behind LeBron. What does this do for his MVP candidacy? Does this affect it positively or negatively when he's oh, out? Negatively, yeah. for sure, because now he has a lesser chance of winning that MVP because of the amount of games he's exactly. missed. I, right? As soon as yeah. he went down, I actually said this is a good chance for LeBron to actually, to actually win, to steal it. one. Yeah. yeah. So because, that's a good way to go. Yeah, because now if yeah. LeBron keeps doing what he does, I was hard. But then does uh, does this also come into mind the fact that if Houston keeps losing games without Harden. Does that, does that also go in his way, saying how important or how valuable he really was for this team? Yeah, that's going to show a lot. But yeah. I don't think they're going to lose a lot of games. Like, even yeah. with... They don't have a... I looked at the record. They don't have a small sample of when he's out. Yeah. But Because he's been durable. Like, yeah, he yeah he's, he's only missed, like, three games in three seasons or something like that. Yeah. So he's... he's he, he, have a, he has a deep team that, that they won't they lose can. that much games. Yeah. Mm. Chris Paul is such a good leader and a good playmaker yeah. that even if yeah. Harden's out... Let's just hope Chris Paul doesn't go down again. But like mm-hmm. Chris Paul, even with even I think when Chris Paul and Harden were on the floor together, mm-hmm. I think Chris Paul when Chris Paul alone was on the floor, yeah. he still does well without Harden being in the mm-hmm. lineup as well. Yeah. So I feel like Chris Paul will take the load and he'll rise to the occasion. Yeah, sure. yeah. that's fair. Vet. And, and they just have so many shooters like yeah, Rockets. Yeah. Like they're oh, they're like the yeah. second, obviously like they're second to Golden State, but they're like Golden State in a way if they spread the floor. Like Eric yeah. Gordon's your three point champion, yeah. Ariza. Ryan Anderson to spread the floor. They just yeah. have yeah, so many weapons to just spread yeah. the floor. Yeah. But then that's also comes into uh, the, the, what makes it great. This, this is the beauty of the Antonio system. Mm. It's highly dependent on a point guard yeah. that can that can uh, that can you know spread the, be a floor general in a sense yeah. and score and and shoot. And that's you know that's what Harden was last year. He was the point guard that can shoot, distribute, and 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 uh, make really sh- um, shots anywhere. Yeah. yeah. And that's gonna be Chris Paul. That's the beauty yeah. of it. It's so they're they're so interchangeable. And some people are pegging Paul as like, oh, he's old, or he's not that. Yeah. He's what 30, 32, 33? He's not he's, that old. He's yeah. not, he's not yeah. as he, I don't see a mm. you know small like in his step is still like right there. Not like yeah. I see Wade kind of kind of being not as fast, not mm-hmm. flash yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. But Chris Paul, I think I still see him as a you know yeah. good fit point guard. Yeah. What is well, you know what is something that you think he's gonna bring? To the table right now for you know now that Harden's gone, what's the biggest thing you think that he can contribute? That's his leadership. Leadership, like what yeah. PJ said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's like, the main thing. <laughs> that includes his assists. It's probably gonna get all the yeah. assists that now. Yeah. 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 Gonna beat uh, Rondo's record. <laughs> oh, definitely oh, Rondo's not. 20, 20, 20, 25. Yeah. Oh my! Two points though. Not Two blessed. points. 